It says we're live, though. Um, okay, I don't have an empty endless eclipse. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Now that someone has finally got themselves into Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Fashionably late, that's all. Yep. Hi, this is Phoenix with Dimension Turn, and I'm here today with Odzilla. Oh, on the PTS, one second. on Twitch. Did you hear what I said about my endless eclipse? No, I sure didn't. All I heard Hi. was the intel ad. <laughs> so I'm in Nove's, um Center of Oblivion right now. And this is one of three keys that is supposed to be available with Starfall Prophecy when it goes live. The scheduled date is the 16th. I'm interested to see if they make it or not. Let me dismount so I don't distract people with my sparkles. Everyone see in here okay? Looks pretty bright on the stream. Okay. So if you remember this from in game, this was like the end of the Dromheim storyline. This is where you had the three big elites. Um, on the platforms and Fenric came and helped you out and it was a really bad quest line. No, I mean the quest line was fun. It was just kind of rough. Um, if you did it on level at like 63, 64 with no gear. Um, so you got all these three, these three platforms. The, the, the item limit in this one is 1520. So that's a, I think that's a really low item limit for a dimension this big. That's exactly what I was going to say. Court is not up on the PTS that I could find. Um, so, but we're going to just like look through these. There's not a lot of dimension items yet. Um, honestly, I have not been leveling my fishing to be able to make the schools of fish. Have you, Odzilla? I've tried. You you almost can't. Um, I haven't. I don't have enough minions to get any of the fish mm -hmm. to make anything. And I've tried multiple times to actually physically fish, and I catch nothing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that the fish are in the game yet. That would have been good to know, like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the big thing I know that he talked. They were on the live stream yesterday. The try on one talking about crafting in dimensions and he kind of skimmed over a lot of stuff um, like he may have mentioned some changes to the Uncle Stan's super secret lure table now you've been pretty happy with it here right I was until yesterday I was getting phenomenal loot every cast I imagine that's probably not going to be how it ends up but the items that I was getting seeing what was in the loot table I was I was squealing and giggling. It it was great. Uh, no notoriety. I'm sure that'll change. Um, and new wardrobe. Uh, I can't remember what wardrobe I got, but it was a completely different one. Yeah. I took... I don't have um, the lure here. I went down in the water. Uh, Winter Charm asked if the water was accessible. And yes, it is. This is actually a pretty nice little area down here. Hmm... That kind of adds to the possibilities. If you were interested in doing like an underwater something, maybe avoiding all the ugliness. I could put my little fishy house in here. That'd yep. be perfect. <laughs> uh, Prickly, they did put out yesterday that most of the dimension upgrades are actually going to be coming with 4.1. But the Uncle Stan loot table that one really needed to be done because that lure was garbage. 
I mean, that that's my opinion. That, that lure was just straight garbage. That's not... That was a very tactful way to put it. It's a good yeah. thing you described the lure and not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I, you know, um, when we had him on the live stream, I didn't hesitate really to tell him that I thought it was bad. <laughs> when I sent in, I sent in a feedback report uh, at the beginning of the week because I was trying to get stuff gathered for the stream. And I wasn't, stance wasn't working, fishing wasn't working. And I, in my feedback report, I was like, I said, you know, stand super sucky lure. So I didn't hold back either. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, some, some people had to really spend a lot of time farming for that lure. And, um, the I know it took me like four hours. It was, it was grueling. It was excruciating. Okay. It took you four hours. <laughs> it took me seven months. <laughs> I'm just saying. Poke. As poke, poke, poke. Yes, the mats are still the same. Let me, oh shoot, I don't have it on this one. But the even better than the lure itself is that the affinity lures, which have no cooldown, um, give the same loot. Give the same loot and they work on the pole. So if you have the pole but you don't have the loot, mm -hmm. You do can. they? Do they work on stands? Yes, I just tested them both this morning. Damn it! I bought the the other lure because I thought that, or the other pole because I thought you needed that to use the affinity lures. Yeah. No, I I think I saw it mentioned somewhere where he said that. Um, where he said I went to Mordecai's Dev Dim, which is Ovog Shrine. And there's, this has actually been on the PTS for a while. Um, he loaded it up with stuff from the old Corvin bags and the rugs. But normally, you know, all this stuff wouldn't be in here. But as far as a plain touch wild key, I like this one a hundred times better than Shell Corva. Which is on the shop now for 1,620 credits with patron discount. We keep it. Yeah. So yeah, um I use both affinity lures, the, the cheap the eight affinity one and the sixteen. Both of them worked. I got some pretty fat loot, including a shard first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is horseshit. Ah, family language. Oh well it is. <laughs> Yeah, like most of the other ones, it does stop right before you could get to the building. Well, it's, it didn't just stop me. It didn't just tease me with those glorious stairs in the temple. It it teleported me to a graveyard. Oh, ouch. Oh, and then it spawned me in Meridian. <laughs> that really sucks, because I was really excited when I zoned in and I saw that uh, that shrine there. I was like, oh, I could totally build in that. Well, I have been looking forward to this key for a very long time. I like this one because you get some of the stone elements, but you don't have all that crap in the middle like Shalkorva has. And you don't have all that... Um, the ridiculous scaffolding. Ten-inch and... stuff, yeah. I, yeah. I thought all that was ugly and an eyesore, and it was a pain in the butt to cover up. So I didn't want to use Shalkorva. But this one is a totally different animal, and this one does have, based off the tier 1 limit of 315, that's going to give it a tier 5 limit of 2520. That makes no damn sense. What? That this one would have that uh, massive item count, and then this little bitty space in the middle to build. <laughs> but the one, uh, Nuvez, that we were just in, has half that item count, and it's, it's a massive dimension. Yeah, but, um, I mean, they've done things like that before. Yeah. <laughs> Horse pucky. <laughs> I like it. So since we're talking about Uncle Stan's super secret lure, which I'm going to head out to your bronze tomb. But before that, can you give me permissions when we get in there? 
Mm. Although I'm pretty sure I'm not going to put a sanctuary of rebirth in your bronze tomb because that's what I fished up this morning. Oh. <laughs> well, wait till you see what I have in my uh, my bronze tomb. You may be. I was in there earlier. Oh. Bronze tomb, bronze tomb, bronze tomb. Oh yeah, I am going to hit your endless eclipse first, though, so we can get a comparison of what. Center of Oblivion looks like compared to it. They put out on the on the live stream yesterday that Center of Oblivion is where you fight Regulos at, and that's not actually not correct. That's here. Now the prickly those things that were in the dimension we were just at those came from the Corvin grab bags, and they're in the pillow scratchers. Uh, they didn't put that stuff on the any vendor before it, while it was on the PTS, so that was the only way we could see any of it. The Shock Corva stuff is in the new Stan's Loot Table, though. Yeah. Huh, goody! And now, remember, Endless Eclipse has an item limit of 2520, and it's, it's, I think it's smaller than Center of Oblivion. Maybe they'll fix that. Yeah, maybe. I I want to say I saw somewhere they were going to make it um, 2,000. I'm I could sure. deal with that. I think yeah. 2,000 is reasonable, but what, what did you say, like fifteen or 1,600? Right now it's 1,520. So oh. that would put it on par with like Glenwood Glen. That ain't going to work. Can I get some permissions to drop this stuff off? <sighs> yeah, let me find this again in my... So we saw a lot of this stuff on various loot grab bags and um, whatnot that, you know, came out with like Fey Yule last year, uh, Autumn Harvest last year. So some of these items you've probably seen before, and some of them were on the original Uncle Stan loot table, but they were just kind of rare. Here's the, um, the Shell Corva tinnage that she was talking about. Uh, the stuff that is older, I put in the back here. It is, I can't tell you how happy it makes me to see this. You fish this up with Stan? Uh, Stan, I, I think I fished that one up with an affinity lure. I mean, I guess that's basically the same thing. Yeah, but the, the eight affinity lure and Uncle Stan's super secret lure share the exact same table. It's the 16 point lure that has mostly the same table but you get more stuff with it for one and then uh he teased on skype the other day that there's a rare drop key that comes from the 16 point lure i don't know if it'd be worth it i mean you would have to get an awful lot of stuff from yeah that. i mean there's too many other things i want to spend my affinity on But some of this stuff, like this is the pink tablecloth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was already on the original loot table. Wait, what? You could get this before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure about this thing, though. What is this? That's weird, because it was a server first. I guess nobody's just never fished it up on PTS before. Um, this is a terraced wall post. You do have furnishings, by the way. Okay, well, I got my UI turned off, so I can't see it right now. Ah. Oh, you took it away. So you knew I was getting ready to steal it. <laughs> I didn't take it away. I made it a little smaller so you could get it all in your screen. Are the affinity drop boxes, you mean like the grab bags prickly, the, the ones that are 36 affinity or 28 or whatever they are? I thought those that loot table was staying the same. Yeah, these are from Black Garden. Which is good. I really like the um, the stuff from Black Garden. Uh, I don't think he made any changes to the Affinity Bag loot table. I but thought he was going to improve on it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I honestly don't waste my Affinity on him. I get things like keys to Fane's Retreat, keys to Sanguine Shores. I'm not going to waste my Affinity on that soul-bound dimension items that I've already gotten a million times with yeah. 
Green Tier Loyalty. The stuff from Green Tier Loyalty, when, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I've capped silver. Why do I want some crap that came from Green Tier Loyalty? This peasant loot. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean at all. That's, that's not what <laughs> that's I mean That's how I all. feel, and I'm just in black tier. I have enough Scarlet Trillium, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so this... So let me this, drop... I'm oh, not never gonna, mind. I'm not going to put down this... Um, I don't have permissions. Do you give me one with... I got three E's in my name. Oh, yeah, then. No, you don't have permissions. Vicious Bundle. I, I'm not sure if that was... Is that a new one or not? I don't remember mm -hmm. if the Vicious Bundle was a new one. I don't think it was. Should have them now. Okay. So... I got a Maple Tavern chair, mm. which was already I, in the late in the table. Now this was off the eight point lure. I got a Sanctuary of Rebirth on the second cast, and then I got the Crimson Mini Pavilion. This is the old tinnage from the two point seven mystery boxes, the same one that um, that dwarf statue came out of. They weren't like not available i am 99 percent sure that this maple tavern chair this is the one i have it's, in my hobbit it gym. is it i is. think this is the first time prickly threatened to throw punch me is when she saw this chair and then i've got this i've never seen one of these before in Ooh, game pretty it's a ever glowing short pagoda lamp post i am not seeing the actual lamp <laughs> post I see the lamp kind of... Did you see it again? You better put that back. <laughs> 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 Got a fallen iron pine stump, which it looks like you already had over there, too. Um, It's not a fallen one. It's just... um. Well, I guess technically it's it's a fallen. That's what makes it a log. But it's it's different. It's really long, and I actually had to resize it to get it to fit in here. A cerulean mushroom. So, a ground razor mushroom that Without doesn't get the grass? Yeah. And Gee, you can thanks, scale guys. it. Can scale oh, it. oh, that's cool. I actually like these. I think they're cute. Uh, this Can't is the on one them. I got a shard first on. It's another one of those black garden pieces. Ooh. The broken ancient elven wall. Mufasa. Jesus, these are, all these items are huge. Yeah. I can think of some uses for this thing. And I got a vicious bundle. Now the wall and the lamp post and the chair and the mushroom all came from the sixteen uh point affinity lures. And that's this all you got? No. I got a vicious bundle. Oh yeah, that's an existing thing in game that I just got the appearance and a canopy dome. I'd stick with the eight point. Well, the thing was with with each cast of the sixteen point lure, I got two items. So out of six six pieces of loot, five of them were dimension items. One was a piece of wardrobe. Hmm. So it's almost the exact equivalent then. <laughs> yeah. Now I know, like on live. I wouldn't waste my affinity on one of those lures because it would be crap. <laughs> and so, yeah, the next step would, would be to fish. It'd be horse pucky. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Uncle Stan's super secret lures, like, you know, he put this out on the live stream yesterday that it is pretty much a dimension a dimension thing um and i'm okay with that i i really don't care if about my manugo notoriety um you know when i've already got it maxed out or any of those others this is kind of, this is useful i could think of a lot of things to use this for i think this um this where, where are you running off to I'm running around your dimension still. I can't still. keep up with you. No. Um, this pointed rock border. Mm -hmm. I am pretty sure this was in game already. Yeah, it is. 
Um, Red Six says, you mean we can stop kicking Uncle Stan and his family, jewel family jewels? Yes. No vape, just fished up massive drought lens rock that's awesome looking. Yeah. Yeah, as far as the mount goes, I, I don't know how many of those I have. I spent seven months trying to get that lure and then got a bunch of junk. I think the thing that I freaked out about, I mean, a lot of this lure is cool, but I freaked out about this stone bridge. It's not wooden stone, it's just yeah. stone. And, oh, and that's gorgeous. another existing... What? It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's on the... But remember now, they took out the things that were white and green, um, or common and uncommon, they took those out of the loot table for a while because, uh, you know, they were... There were common and uncommon store items mixed in with that. So that's how you could fish up your time of days. And You're just bursting my bubble here. I thought this was but like... But this is... It, yeah, it was already on live, but... Kind of like that high lol, um gazebo thing that Foxy has on Greybriar. But I, I know just from the limited testing of it... I did this morning. I am very, very pleased uh, with the changes that have been made to the lure table. And I'm really stoked about, um, you know, that thing being in. <laughs> oh, Fox Shrine. <laughs> the thing with the thing in the thing. What about my death chair? Was that already in? Because I think this thing is just gorgeous. Um, it in it. No, I'm not sure. I'd have to look on DA. I think it was, but I'm not sure. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm with not this too thing. sure that he added new items to the table. But I know this pillar here, I've never seen this before either. Uh, ancient Elven Post Platform. Oh, yeah. Say I, that five times fast. Well, I don't care what it is. I could think of about a million things to use that on. Sorry to ruin your fun about the. She just says she just opened her stash dam up. Four point oh stands lure to some of those in cascades. So here we are, with more stuff. I know Nove's been spending a lot of time on the PTS lately. Um, I bet she has all sorts of cool crap in there. Yeah, I've been really... Maybe I'll get my happy back. It's only fixed on the test shard right now. Um, the rest will be in, uh, in live during 4.0. So this is an item that I know I've seen out and about, the mossy storage building. Oh yeah, I've had a bunch of these actually. Frost They're mirrors, really pretty though. The ferning trees. These are the sunken pools. Like medium sunken pond. I mean, my personal opinion on these is that I thought they were nice, but we don't have anything that really matches them. Oh, I like that little one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The small shrunken pond. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that in game. Here's your rock border again. Oh, of course, she's got like a stack of them. You know what? I'm out of here. The, the dual brushy palm. Oh, guess I'm running too fast for Polly. Lots of snags. Yeah. rock is pretty. Mm -hmm. I gotta try to be artsy. Here's some smaller stuff. Looks like just the grapes out of the wine barrel. 
It's an awful lot of grapes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like grapes. You guys like grapes. Here, make paintings with grapes. I like this lamp here. Can you shrink those down? And that must be the... I don't, ooh, I don't know what this is, but I like that lamp. Got a skull torch. Are you even listening to me? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's the Shimmer Sand Road Marker, another 2.7 item. Some more of that tinnage. Now, as far as like actual crafting goes, um, I would recommend you stockpile your marks. The artisan marks. Holy sh isn't it? That's a big ass rock. <laughs> what is that fence thing to the right that has all the spikes up to, to I don't know. your other right? I don't know. Your other right. Oh yeah, my God. I know. I'm looking at this big rock. I feel like I feel like I've just zoomed in to the eyes of a squirrel. Just looking everywhere. This fence? The one, the, the, the only one I've seen so far. That fence is a sharpened stick wall end. Oh, that's so cool. And you've got... This rock may be familiar. I've seen this in game before. This is the rock where a lantern hook is is at, basically. But I know I I've, I've seen on the request thread that people have been requesting um like big rocks. Well, there's a big damn rock. <laughs> the small, the coral reef. What is that called? Which one? The big ass rock. It looks like it has a little platform on it. Massive Droughtlands Rock. Mm. Well, that's that's in game, isn't it? Mm. It sounds familiar. Yeah, it's in game. It's just really really rare. It's really, really cool. And of course, big enough to run around in. <laughs> You're like, look at the lamps. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at the rocks. I'm like, look at the spikes. <laughs> and the death chairs. Oh. Let me check out the texture on the overhang. Oh, wow. Holy this would be hugely useful. Oh my god. Can you say transformation? Yes, please. What would <laughs> I don't think Twitch has caught up with you yet. Oh, okay. What the hell is that? That's that massive overhang. This is at the default size. Overhang? Why is it on the ground? So we can see this texture. Oh. Yeah. This just screams to be. Um, is it meant to be viewed from the underside? Huh? This is the top. It's called flat topped overhang, is what Nove says. Oh, so it's like something that you would put as a platform on like a cliff? To hang over the edge of the cliff? Well. If it's a big rock, you could use it however you wanted to. I would probably blow it up to max size and drop it down like an anywhere or something and use it as grass. I'm just going to sit here and stare at my death chair and my stone bridge. Okay, you sit here and stare at your death chair and stone bridge. The Cops of Pines, I've seen that before. Yeah. I really like that item too. Five trees in one item. Well, I think um, somebody says you, you'd you be happy if it doesn't disappear on you. Well, I think the thing is that um, I, I don't know. 
Well, it's all going to be based off of the draw distance. If you don't manage the draw distance properly, you're going to have issues with things like that. I mean, that's... Where's that thing? What's that, that wall to your left? Which wall? That's I don't know. the back side of the spiked fence. What? No. The, um, there's like a really cool... Oh, there's so much cool shit. You know what? I'm just going to go in there and try to rely on you. <laughs> yeah, the mountains do do it a lot. The, all the big rocks, their render time is slower than other rocks, and their draw distance may oh, not be actually shorter but it's it has the appearance of being shorter now these i still have some of these and there's another canopy dome which are i love the canopy domes shimmer sand stairs and a lot of this stuff i know i stockpiled a ton of it during fey yule last year when the bags um touched on Stan's lure, but they're not going to do that this year, just like they did with Autumn Harvest. Some more of these uh, bit the big duskin rocks. There's that overhang. That looks like max size there. Uh, I'm totally freaking out about this this rib cage that you completely bypass. I can make some amazing lizards with this. Yep. <laughs> yep. Back to this pretty lamp. No, I'm looking at that big rock. I'm trying to be artsy. Yeah, upside down is the actual mountain, which would be awesome. I mean, shoot, you could probably do an ent the ground layer of an entire dimension with like 10 of those. I'm talking waterfalls and, uh, yeah. What is that thing on the table? That's a vice? That, that's part of the item. That table with the vice. Back to the table with the vice. Relan asks, all this stuff is fished up? Yes, this is stuff off the super secret lure table, um, which the chances of getting are actually a lot better now than they once were. So as far as crafting goes, we know that he's still working on dream weaving. I tried to level up dream weaving, but the recipes uh, required ten that of dust. the planar dust each. Yeah. Which, ugh. and don't you usually get like one per rift? If if that. Unless that's like the new um, what is it void, void dust? There's a different dust you can buy in the store with void stones. Yeah, that's the the nightmare tide. Um. But I'm wondering if it's the equivalent to that, because if you can buy it with credits or a different type of in-game currency, that'll make crafting a lot easier. Yeah, all he had when I was in Tempest Bay on this one was the um, the Dream Orb recipes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, doggies. All right, sorry, one second. So I think we've seen... I think we've pretty much established that Uncle Stan's loot table now is 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 much much better than it was. Pretty sure we made that abundantly clear. Now with crafting, um, I have a I've actually been trying to play a little bit here, and I'll tell you I was going in as Pyro, and that's not a good spec for a mage to level with. But like some of the mats we have. This is new runecrafting dust. That's Sanctuary Rebirth. Foraging mats. The new cloth. Um, the new leather. This, if you're an artificer, like this character has artificing um, 
outfitting and rune crafting and dream weaving. So I, it's already oh. Where did I look at the artificing recipes? Yeah, here's the new. This dust right here is this is the really. The thing that's been pretty hard to come by. Um. I've had a hard time even finding any kind of mats um, over here at all. But they went through the old um, recipes and got rid of things like uh, uh, that required some of the old the cloth, like the salvaged materials that minions brought back by the truckload. Um, all that stuff is it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Thanks, Nove, for letting us look around in the dimension. I'm gonna head to Tempest Bay. So all the crafting trainers and all the dailies are still going to be in the same spot that they were in, which is here. Hey. Church, Church Jade. Um, I haven't leveled any crafting at all. Just trying to gather mats, which has been a pretty singularly painful experience. Hey, there's cans. That's one of the one of the devs there. One of the content guys or systems guys. So, like this stuff here, you can see now it's all gray. So if you have a bunch of this, um, you know, you're going to have some, some good good chunk of change uh, when you start vendoring it. Same thing with these. Titanium crystals are not going to be a thing anymore. Yes, my... And this is from EU. This is not even my North American bank. All those thalassite ingots these crystals so I'm gonna assume that skill spheres will still work in the new expansion if you have any of those yeah you can probably go ahead and vendor vendor that stuff now Aleandre and, and open up some room um, So, I mean, crafting, there's not... <sighs> no. I noticed you didn't say that on Skype. <laughs> you just... <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have that on this one or not. And you're right, Prickly, those are used to make the monument bases. Weather, all right, monument base. Here's the new recipe for the monument base. 12 grind, 12, uh, two shell grinding stones, 48 dream ribbons, four Viserian minimums, and 12 thalassite bars, which is good. They got rid of the, um, the ingot requirement. So I hope that answers your question, Prickly. Um, yeah, I haven't really bought a, a lot of this stuff on... Oh, here's... The, holy crap. This is why you want to start saving your crafting marks. Those are some pretty insane uh, prices for mark... Uh, recipes. Whew. The mats are not that great either. 
10 dust, 10 bolts, 20 fiber, 10 infused star hide, 5 carbonation zinc, which is a vendor item. Holy crap. That is a ridiculous amount of mats. Yeah. Well, you know, autumn harvest is the time... No, Prickly. Limits, um, the cap on crafting marks are not going up. So. But, <laughs> they said dailies were supposed to pay out more. Which. Whew. Let's see what we got. Can you hear me by chance? Nope. I left myself on mute that whole time. <laughs> I'm talking to you, and I was starting to get pissed off because you weren't responding. I'm like, listen here, Squirrel. Yeah, I didn't hear what you were I have saying. some important questions I'm asking. So this is Rune... Let's see, Rune Crafting doesn't have any recipes up here yet. One thing I wanted to know mm -hmm. was uh, if, if anybody had heard, and by anybody I mean you, if they're <laughs> going to raise the cap on Grandmaster and Master Crafting Marks. I just answered that, and the answer was no. Oh, shit. Well, I was busy trying to figure out why you weren't answering me yeah. to pay attention to what you're actually saying. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, crafting mark cap is not going up. Um, but that's going to make it really, oh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Yes. If you have, if you're one of those people that has all 10 professions on every, on one character, it's going to be sucking. Um, yep trying to grind out the mats. Of course, if you only have like the one crafting and the rest gathering, you're probably going to have a pretty long time grinding marks that way too. I mean, because this one, I've got this is my EU was my main artificing, dream weaving, outfitting, room crafter and survival on this one. And survival just went in today. Um, oh, I can make something. <laughs> um, and then this brisket stew, I'm going to be making a whole bunch of that because... Some of the, some of the survival recipes actually take the old mats. Um, yeah, I divide my, my crafting too. I got, well, most of these I had already maxed out before yeah. I got uh, before they brought in the the ex expanded crafting yeah some some of those are um, to where you could do the extension so I mean crafting honestly I think are there new survival no there aren't but I'm glad you asked that question about dimension recipes because there is one set of dimension recipes that I did see. So, and that's right here with the fisher, always with the fishing. School of fish. I was really wanting to have those yeah. fish dimension items for this stream. I was. I, I actively, when I came on and started questing a little bit, I am I have a bug where I don't get any XP. But when I started questing a little bit, I was really trying to fish to get this recipe right here. Deep water fish. Oh, 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 oh I want that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we like fish, huh? Now we don't I got like, a problem with the fishies. I like these fish, and I like the school of the... The School of Clever Fish. And then so are they going to actually swim in a circle? I don't know. I, you can't tell from the preview. And then there's this pirate fish stall, which, if I remember right, this is the thing right outside of um, Ember Heart or whatever it is in, in Ember Isle, where the, the main little where you turn in the fish at there but even this I can see some uses for this fence obviously I don't have high enough skill to to make it to see um, how big it scales or how small it gets or anything 
but for sure I know uh, these schools of fish are uh, dimension items that can be crafted. The deep water fish, the clever fish. I like those. And the mats does, don't look too painful. I guess it just remains to be seen how rare these eels are. Nothing here. This is all just food. Let's see what we got as far as recipes go. If he, they have any specific recipes. And another thing that they put out. Um, the planar fishing poles, if you have those, no matter, they'll, all the lures will work on all the poles. Uh, he did put that out yesterday. I'm not going to waste mm -hmm. crafting marks on that recipe. But what about all the planar uh, poles? Will the lures work on them? As far <laughs> as the affinity poles, I'm not sure. I know the planar poles now are all supposed to be... Um, compatible with each other. Odianus, yeah, I would agree with that, that, um, that the fish schools would work the same. So yeah, there's not a lot. No dimension items here yet, except for the ones that we already have, which would be that wood crate and the, the architect platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot of fishing will suddenly gain in popularity. The loot table on. Did they change the. Martha, I don't know. Um, I didn't grind out those poles, so I. I don't know if they made those more fe feasible to get and make or not. This guy, I don't think they've ever updated this particular vendor. No. So the big dimension updates are coming with 4.1 uh, according to what he said on the live stream yesterday. So what we got there is I mean pretty much what we have. I know I, I craft a lot. Um, do you craft a lot? Odds? Oh you're actually talking to me now? I'm talking to you now. <laughs> yeah. I have all of the professions on one character maxed out hmm. so reduce is the game worth playing is my real question I, I think it is um nah dude it sucks <laughs> overwatch bro odds you're about to get banned <laughs> <laughs> she says that but she's logged in like all day every day Uh, I, I, the new zones, as far as the zones themselves go, they're really n aesthetically nice. Um, I didn't have a really good time questing over there, but I wasn't, I know that's a personal thing. I was in the wrong spec. Um, pyro is not going to be a good spec for leveling. Not if you don't have gear. It, it hurt. So I went to a... a a harb, um, a harb coral. So, I think we pretty much covered everything that we can cover today. Um, um, you got night bought up, odds? So we I do, do but it doesn't ones. particularly care for me. But I have a promotion I want to do real quick. Um, if yeah. I can get the, oh, do you already know about it? No, what? Uh, well, I'm waiting for the exact information. It is a... Here we go. Kula is sponsoring a party in the Dimension Raven's Hollow on Thursday, November 3rd 
from 5.30 to 7 p.m. And it's called Haunted Harvest. Everybody's welcome. And I will post that information in chat now. Okay. And maybe could put it on the forums, too. And I will be there, so you know it's going to be a blast. (laughs) (laughs) One second, let me... Oh, Oh, it worked! All right. Oh, she's not following. Next! Kidding. No, hey, I don't... We don't do that. I know. Hey, hey, is that uh, party server time? He told me the other day, and I forgot. Uh, yeah, yes. It's going to be on Faye Blight. You didn't give the shard either. Well, I mean, I guess I just figured people would have. <laughs> okay, it is server time, and it's on Faye Blight. Yeah, it's it's um, snails and corgis sets. Gonna give five. Okay, so she wants it to re-roll. <clears throat> Polynomia. Congrats, Polly. So we have four more? Four more. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Steele, winged cat. Those will go out via Twitch message um, after the stream. Not in a whisper, but via Twitch message. Mira33. M I R R A. Congrats. Kula and his weighted dice. Remember, if you already have the, the, the snail, give it, give it away, share it with your friends, share it with your guild. You know, they're, they're yours, do what you want, but we don't want them back. <laughs> and Foxy. But don't ask for help in general chat, and then when the, somebody sends you a tell and says, what do you need? Send them the, the code. Like, I Did thought I'd be that? like, yeah, <laughs> and they put me on ignore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I ended up having to find out what guild they were in, contact their guild leader, and I was like, can you please tell this person that it's, it, I'm not, it, it's actually a code, and, and the person was like, I don't believe them, I don't trust them, I'm okay. So I gave it to the guild leader, and they were like, oh, cool, thanks for the snail. <laughs> But that like hurt my feelings. I thought I was being slick. Ah, uh, Pricklin wants to know when Tryon is going to give us new stuff. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Would be nice if we could get like, maybe even one or two of the the standard editions to give away. Um, cause cause I'm too cheap to come out of pocket for that. So we're going to end on one last view of Ovog Shrine, which is on the PTS under Mordecai's Dev Dem. More like Ovog Circle, because you can't even get the damn shrine. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if, you know, if you guys get it, then then please just help your buddies out. Um, so next week, we're off to Fayblight. We'll be back with the DTC Roadshow. And we're going to be hanging out with Vae um, and looking at her cool dimensions on Fayblight, RP um, Extraordinaire. So, and then I, I don't think we have a plan yet for the next time because I'm looking at taking around the weekend of Thanksgiving off. Not acceptable. So I can get my fat face on. Mm. Oh, I can mm-hmm. fat face and stream. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing stops me from fat facing. Alright, so that's going to close it out for today, and we will see you guys next week. Oh, as a reminder, the Simply Amazing contest ends on the 3rd of December. Get your entries in. 
Mine is done. Just saying. I mean, uh, <laughs> you didn't need to throw that in there. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you turd. And, you horse pucky. And the the PTS is currently open. For everyone, if you'd like to come see these items for yourselves, I found most of these dimensions and stuff off the weekly. Um, Just go to Nuvez because... Yeah, Nuvez is, you know, everyone has their own little system set up. So, yeah, all you got to do is just take a, take a tour around and see what there is to see. Maybe check out the new zones while you're over here. So mm. until next time, happy building and happy touring.